flowers and welcome back to another episode of the black hand side i showed you all my african ancestry results last time that show i descend from the t-card people living in present day cameroon so for this episode i wanted to go over my living dna and my your portal dna results so these are two different companies that a lot of people especially right now a lot of black people are looking at now i know a lot of people know a lot more about living dna than they do about your dna portal but both of these companies kind of do the same thing in terms of giving you back your autosomal results but in the form of African ethnic groups. Let's go over what I know about my ancestry. So on my maternal side, my mother's side, I know that I descend from the Tikar people of Cameroon. I also know that I have some Bakongo heritage from the Democratic Republic of Congo and Angola. I also have Hausa heritage. So from what I know, it is mainly in Southern Niger, but the heritage can also be from the House of People of Cameroon, as well as the House of People of Northern Nigeria. So those are the ethnic groups for my mother's side that I know about. For my father's side, we have the Ashanti people, the Akon people of Ghana. We have the Fulani people of Niger, as well as Mali. Um, and possibly Burkina Faso. And my father's side also has a bit of Bakongo heritage as well. I definitely predict those heritages, but because I am from those specific ethnic groups, there's a chance that I can also be from neighboring ethnic groups as well. So we have t cars, so there's a chance that I could be from other ethnic groups um, that are within the Cameroon grass fields. Um, there's also a chance that I can be from other ethnic groups who are around the Bakongo people, as well as other Akon ethnic groups. So I know for a fact that I am of Ashanti descent, but there's a chance other Akon people can also um, be in there. Um, the only one I kind of know for sure is Bono. The Bono are like a Akon people, I believe. And also because I know I have Fulani um, heritage in Mali, there's a chance that I could be from some other ethnic groups in Mali. Um, I'm not really sure which ones. Yeah, I don't have a clue. My bad, y'all. I started to lose the sunlight, so <laughs> I kind of had to bounce some light on me because it was getting a little dark. <laughs> so let's get into it. These are my living DNA estimates. So let's see. Okay, so we have... Africa representing 93.1%. Okay, so of that 93.1%, I have West African at 87.3%. And of West Africa, we have the Yoruba tribe coming in at 20%. That's kind of shocking, the Yoruba people. Okay. And then we have the uh, Akon people, 13.5%. Then we have Bamoon, 8.3%. And they're Grassfields people, so that's not surprising. Um, we have Mende at 7.9%. Ebo at 6.9%, Isan at 6.7%, Tikar, okay, it showed up, 6.3%, Ivory Coast Ghana at 6.2%. That's interesting. Just, I guess, the region. Hmm, okay. Then we have Mandika, 2.8%. Semi Bantu, 2.4%. Okay. Benin, 2.2%. Masi, 2.2%. And then we have Cameroon Bantu 
at 1.9 percent interesting oh, okay we'll talk about it after okay and then we have east africa representing 3.5 percent we have malawi bantu 1.9 percent the luya people at 1.6 percent okay then we have south and central africa representing 2.3 percent and they have it as bayaka 2.3 percent and then we have europe representing 6.9 percent and that's northwestern europe that's 6.9 percent thoughts right off i'm a little surprised by some of these um ethnic groups and i say that because for one mende the mende people i know are of uh the sierra leone region and that doesn't really pop up on any autosomal test that i took for other companies so that's somewhat surprising especially that it would be as high that's 7.9 percent that's higher than my t-car heritage like that's that's pretty high and then yoruba i was surprised by that because to be 20 percent that would mean i would pretty much have a grandparent who was of yoruba descent but as far as i know i don't um like i like i said i've had cousins who have taken the test who i share grandparents with and as far as they have told me and we've researched none of my grandparents are of yoruba heritage especially at that high percentage if it was something smaller it would be i guess more believable but that's really interesting it's very very interesting that i have yoruba that high it's son i'm not surprised by that at all um they're not far from the tikar people in cameroon uh their son are in southern um nigeria um so that's not surprising the ivory coast ghana 6.2 percent that's a little confusing because i have ethnic groups and then randomly you hit me with countries so it's like does that also represent a con heritage um and then semi bantu which are the people of the grass fields in cameroon it's like you can't pinpoint who that is is it you know bamaleke is it more t car is it bamoon heritage because those are all three uh grass fields people and i have bamoon here at 8.3 percent um which is higher than my t car um even though oral tradition says that the bamoon actually come from t car people um that the founder of their kingdom was the son of a t car king or a t car fun so then i just have benin which is another country 2.2 percent and then the um masi people um who are from uh burkina faso so that's not surprising because i do as far as i know i i thought that some of my fulani ancestors were in that region so the masi you know makes sense and then cameroon bantu 1.9 that is also a little surprising because then they don't really pinpoint um because I know I am of mainly Central African heritage, um, having some East African heritage makes sense because there were some East African peoples who came from Central Africa. Seeing Luya is a little surprising now, I'm not gonna lie. The Malawi Bantu, not necessarily. I find it interesting that a lot of the Cameroonian ethnic groups are listed under West Africa rather than Central Africa. I find that very interesting. I also find it interesting that I don't see the Congo people listed under Central Africa for me. I also don't see Hausa and I know for a fact that I do have Hausa heritage. You know what? Let's bring up the white pages for this company let's look at that real quick white papers for 
living DNA. Maybe there's a clue there as to why I'm not seeing those. Okay, so they test 72 ancestry regions of Africa, um, which sounds like a lot, right? But, ooh. So, as I'm looking at this, honestly, that's not a lot of regions at all because West Africa and Central West Africa, which is Cameroon, oh my God, that's not a lot of ethnic groups at all, y'all. So Cameroon has four ethnic groups um, that they identify, Bamoon, uh, Cameroon Bantu, Semi-Bantu, and Tikar. So Bamaleke, like none of the other smaller ethnic groups are even listed, which is crazy. And then for West Africa, oh wow. There's 17 ethnic groups all together that represent all of West Africa. Y'all, that's not necessarily good. And then Hausa's not even an option. That's kind of crazy. And then like Ivory Coast Ghana is an ethnic group under West Africa, but that's crazy that, wow. And then Cameroon Bantu, semi-Bantu under Central West Africa. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this, cause that means you're trying to fit people into other ethnic groups because you don't have the representation. So, wow. I don't know y'all. I don't know because a lot of, mm, I don't know y'all. I don't think I trust it. I mean the T-car is there. Like I, it's there. But it's a very small percentage. I mean Bamoon is on there too. And together, let's see that's 8.3 and 6.3. So that's like 14.6. I mean that's not necessarily bad. But there are far more ethnic groups and there's no way I'm only comprised of that small amount when you think about how many branches of your family tree you have. And you want me to believe that this small amount is what I, mm, uh, y'all, I don't think it's accurate. Yeah, I'm feeling a kind of way. Like they got the Akon, I know that's my father's heritage and that's 13 point. Five. Like I said, without Hausa being on there, that's a little surprising. And then they don't even have Bakongo um, representation at all. Like, I, if you look at the white pages, that's not even represented, period. And that's a pretty big region. Like, Angola um, and the Congos, like, they're important regions of Afro Africa because a big portion of the transatlantic slave trade was operated out of that area and I have that heritage and you don't even have that represented. That's honestly a lot more upsetting than having companies like Ancestry or 23andMe do regions. I almost prefer the actual geographic regions to the ethnic groups if you can't provide all the ethnic groups. When I first heard about this, I was super excited um, just because, oh snaps, you guys can give me ethnic groups. Um, like instead of these artificial borders, and I thought that was like the most beautiful thing, like, ah, that's dope. But however, when I actually started to look at their website, the Ethnic groups, in my opinion, are not very diverse at all. I felt cheated. Um, so there's that. Thank you for joining me today and watching this video. If you would, please like and subscribe. Um, I have more content coming as well. For my next episode, I will be looking at family tree DNA. Um, so I'll go over those results and how I feel about them as well as my heritage. So I'll do those in one video and kind of compare those companies. So again, I thank you for watching. Blessings, love, peace, and light. And as always, next time you see me, 
Give me five on the black hand side, y'all.